Good morning, Cross Church of Norman. I am very blessed this morning to be able to share with you uh, some thoughts, a little object lesson that I've uh, stumbled across. For those of you who don't know me, uh, I am Brandon Bowen. I am one of your elders, and I'm very blessed to be kicking off the first of uh, a round robin of sorts where you'll be hearing from a different elder each week, uh, their thoughts and some scripture, and I decided I'd go first, so we're going to give this a shot. It's going to take me a minute to put this together, so please bear with me as I do it. Um, but uh, if you're wondering why I'm outside, that's because that's where my little object lesson starts this morning. So give me just a moment. I'll turn this camera around and we'll keep going. So if you live in Norman, you know we had a little bit of an ice storm. This pile is my neighbor's. This one is mine. And this one is mine as well, and it goes almost all the way down my whole frontage here. And that's all pretty much just this tree. So, I still have some work cut out for me because the whole backyard is a mess still, and i got to deal with that. But what I was looking at as I was doing this, of course you see where the cuts have been made. And they're all over this tree. But one in particular, right there. I don't know if you can quite see it. There's an older cut up here. I'm going to swing all the way around. Maybe we can see it right here. There's an older cut right there where a twig is growing out of it. It's new growth in an old wound. Let's see if I can zoom in on that for you. There's the twig, there's the root of it. You see it coming out. It's got fresh leaves on the end of it, wiggling in the wind. And this is what I'm gonna talk about this morning. So, give me a moment, I'll head inside, and we'll continue in there. Okay, we're back, and ready to continue a segment I call Cup of Joe with Brandon Bowen. What I'm gonna read to you from this morning. As I recall, uh, this has been a passage that Pastor Daniel has touched on several times in his recent series, Different, and it is Romans 12, and I'm going to read from the NIV. Therefore, I urge you, brothers, in view of God's mercy, to offer your bodies as living sacrifices, holy and pleasing to God. This is your spiritual act of worship. Do not conform any longer to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Then you will be able to rest and approve what God's will is, his good, pleasing, and perfect will. For by the grace given me, I say to every one of you, do not think of yourself more highly than you might, <coughs> excuse me, than you might. But rather think of yourself with sober judgment in accordance with the means, with the measure of faith God has given you. Just as each of us has one body with many members, and these members do not all have the same function, so in Christ we who are many form one body, and each member belongs to all the others. Then it goes on to explain the different gifts. You know, if you have this gift, this is what you need to share. Well, what I'm getting at today, and I kind of, I kind of saw the body in a, in a different light this morning. But uh, before I get to that, more specifically, I want to talk about the pruning. Uh, you saw that giant pile of branches I have spread all over my yard, <laughs> and I've got some work yet to do. But the point I'm trying to make with it is. What is it that we need to prune from our lives so that we can serve the body more effectively? Uh, you notice the little twig that was growing out uh, that I specifically zeroed in on. And the point I think that came to me there is if we're pruning things out of our life, what are we allowing to grow back in that space? 
Is it something pleasing to him, or is it the same old habits and the same old issues that we've had cropping back up in our life? You know, if, if we're cutting out bitterness, are we replacing it with forgiveness? If uh, the Lord has shown us that we have an anger issue, are we pruning that off and letting his will come through as love, as joy, um, as patience? What are we allowing to grow back in that place that he prunes for us? Are we truly developing uh, good fruit there? Or are we falling back onto old habits? And so, as I kind of delved into this further, I, for some reason, I, I just got the, I got the um, idea stuck in my head that maybe there's a different way we can look at the body of Christ. Not that we need to, but it, uh, it was just a, a lesson that came to my mind. We're all different trees, um, and bear with me on that. Uh, we each bear, like it says, different fruit. Spiritually, some of us are almond trees, some of us are walnuts, some of us are pecans, peaches, apricots, cherries, you name it, apples. Um, and if we are firmly rooted in Christ, what are we allowing to grow on our branches? If we are truly rooted in him, if he is the firm ground, the solid ground that we are planted in, we should be bearing good fruit. And we need to be pruning off those things in our lives, the, the diseased, the rotten, the dead branches, so that we can fully bring those fruits to his table, um, so that they can serve others. Uh, you know, whether it's somebody else in the body of Christ or it's somebody outside the body of Christ, we need to bring those fruits to him. But first, we have to do some pruning and we have to make sure that we have cut out what he has shown us to cut so that we may truly be different, um, that we can truly uh, show the world what he's all about, and what he has to offer them in this very, especially now in this very uncertain time, uh, not to be political, but no matter what side of that fence you're on in this uncertain time, who cares? It doesn't matter. We have a king. We serve a king. And um, he's just trying to make us who he needs us to be who he wants us to be, to bring us closer to him. And so I, uh, I just think this morning that, um, I don't know, we all have some pruning to do in our lives. And I just, uh, I just ask that the Lord shows us where those items are and what they need to be replaced with. So if you would please bow your head with me. Precious Heavenly Father, we just love you so much. And we just thank you so much for your providence, for everything you've blessed us with, for our rights and our freedoms. And Lord, we just, we just thank you so much that you show us where we can be better in our lives, where we need you the most, where we need to be growing the best fruits for you in service of others. And uh, we just ask that you would continue to do your will in our lives, that you would show us where those places are, and that uh, you would uh, just guide us and direct us and help us to shed all of, the, all of the burdens and all of the pain and all of the distractions and just push in closer to you, Lord. And we ask this in your precious holy name. Amen. Thank you.